Hello. And we're back. And this time we're gonna move forward with the basic of the electronics. Okay, just quick, not too much, uh, you know, headache with the formula and applying different laws. So we learn about about ohm law. Ohm law. Yeah. Yes. Now the ohm law it's a dance. You know that. Mm. It's a dance between the current, the voltage, and the resistance. The resistance. Soon as you learn this dance, mm -hmm. you're done. You, you, it's done. You know, you, it's, you, you know electronics. But as soon as you understand, not you actually you learn the, the formula. You have to understand what is happening there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we learn about the relationship between the voltage, current, and resistance, right? Right. So what will happen with the uh, with the uh, voltage if we don't have current? What will happen with hmm? the voltage if we don't have current? Yeah. We use the light bulb. We use a twenty kilo ohms resistor. Yes. And you have nothing, no voltage, and just zero point zero 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 yeah. something. Yeah. So you don't have voltage. No, you have voltage, but you don't have current. With the, with the light bulb there, did you have voltage? With the light bulb connected. Yes. No, you have zero. But wait, we have voltage, but we did not have current. No, we didn't have anything. Oh damn! I already forgot. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, try one more time. Okay. But this time more simply. Now, look, a simple example: what will happen with the voltage if you don't have current? Yeah, is the power supply. Yes. Yeah. So let me lower the current. So I lower the current. So in the moment, you don't have current. But you have a voltage. So I'm shorting this this wire. So what resistance I will have? If I'm shorting those, what is the resistance? Uh, where is the formula again? It's not formula. You short in two wires. Simple. Hmm? You short in those two. You want to check with the multimeter what is the resistance of a short? No? Yes. Okay, that's fine. We have the multimeter on screen. Okay. Please check. So, so what should I? I mean, I don't even, I don't even think it's point. You can just touch it. It's the same thing, right? Yes. Huh? Why is it zero? It's zero. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Check check those probes. Okay. Check them. I what mean, is the resistance? It's zero. But how do you know? You wasn't sure like one minute ago. It's it. It's zero. Okay. So we agree. Here we have a zero ohms resistance. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. So when you come with zero ohms resistance, that's a short. Yeah. Yeah. So you are shorting, we are shorting the power supply. That's mean, yeah, the power supply cannot supply the current. Yes. Because it's a short. Yeah. So what will happen if we don't have current? So you see, I set up a limit of 0 0.1 amps. Check, check what happened with the voltage. It's zero. zero. Exactly. So when you don't have current, the voltage it will get dropped. Yes. Yes. Two was, minutes ago was not sure. <laughs> so that's the reason why you see the voltage is crashing. Because it's not current. Because that's what I set up. Yes. So actually what you set up here, adjusting the current. Yeah. You do nothing more than adjusting a resistance on the serial mode with this circuit. Okay. So adjusting the resistance, the current is changing. Yeah. Lower the resistance. Higher the... Exactly. So that's what I'm going to do now. 
See, lowering the resistance and the current goes up. Yes. Right? Yes. And the voltage and the according voltage. with the resistance of the wires. Yeah. Okay. It's hard, right? Uh, it's a dance. It's a dance. That I'm trying to explain. It's a dance. Resistance is going down. The current goes up. Yeah? Yes. Resistance is going high. The current goes down. True. Right? Yeah. And what it happened when the resistance goes high, the current is limited. Yeah? What will happen with the voltage? The voltage is go will go high as well. <laughs> the resistance is going higher. What will happen with the current and the voltage? It, it's go down. Why? Because the resistance is go higher. Okay, and what the resistance is limiting? It's limiting the color, the current. The current. Yes. But why the voltage is dropping? Because the the voltage is goes with the with the current as well. Yeah, kind of. I yeah. I mean, you you said it's working like together, hand in hand. Yeah, but hand in hand, you know, is can be. The, don't say now. It's like no. Way. Sometimes it's not going. It's going no, or not. I want just to understand. That's all what I want to understand. When you raise the resistance, and the current is dropping. That means the voltage is dropping as well. It's dropping because of the current. Yes, because of the current. Okay. Yes. Good. Now let's test this like practice, yeah? Okay. Okay, so we have the schematic on the screen, right? That's the schematic. Okay? Yeah. What about the voltage here? Here and here. Hmm? What is the voltage? Yeah. We don't know because we don't know the we resistance. We don't know the resistance. Okay. The problem is I don't want to use formula to calculate this. Okay. Because you have to you have to know the, the, the light bulb resistance and the light bulb is tricky. It has a resistance when it's cold, but when it's hot, it's a different resistance. You understand? Yeah. So this light bulb is quite an advanced thing for you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have that schematic. So the light bulb is on a serial mode with the resistance, okay? With the resistor. Yes. Now let me put this. Just to be easier for you. Okay? Yeah. So what's the current? Uh, it's 0 0.2. 290 milliamps. 200, quite, yes. Yeah. 219 milliamps. Okay. I want to know the voltage here. Here. Can you show me this voltage? Can you check this voltage for me? We know here is 12, yeah? Yes. So what is the voltage here? Uh, Let's it, check together. It's 12 uh, uh, divided by... No, no, no. Check. Check with the, with the multimeter. Okay. Check, because it only if you learn, it, it's not going to help me. Let me switch the multimeter. Okay. It's not helpful. I want you to understand the ohm law. Okay. So... Not to learn it. So you have to check where, okay? In the parallel mode with the with the light bulb, right? It's yes. on the parallel with the light bulb. That's what what I said to check. I said check here, and check here, right? Okay. So it's it is in a parallel mode with the light bulb. Yes. Okay. So check the voltage. Check. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. What uh, is the light bulb? It's on the parallel okay. mode with the light bulb. Uh, here. This one and yeah. this one. Yeah, but put the fingers. Look, I will tell you. You start feeling the, the electricity from 50 volts up. Okay. Yeah? So it's not Actually, 60 volts up. Depends on the humidity on the room. Okay. So you are safe with 12 volts. Here and here. And here. What is the voltage? Uh, it's 2.3, but it's with minus. That means I put it wrong. Yeah, the plus is on the other side. Oh, that's that's yeah. not important. That's okay. not important. The, the the thing is what is important is why we have 2.3 volts on the light bulb. So we agree we have lower current because we have a resistance on our schematic, yeah? Yes. Right? Yeah. Why is lower voltage? Because 
That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Okay. Okay, that's actually the Ohm law. Because uh, you are losing current on the resistor. That's the reason why your voltage is going down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. Always. In my room. <laughs> if, you, if you divide 12 volts by... Um, what was well, it? I start being sorry because you start calculating. I don't want to calculate. I want to estimate. So check here. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, check the voltage. Just yeah, yeah. Use that one. All right. So. Okay. Good. It's two point four. Look at the current. Yeah. Yeah, it's zero. I will adjust the resistance, the resistor. What is happening with the with the with the voltage and the current? The current goes up. Yeah. The voltage goes up. Okay. More. Yes, the more you hiring, the I'm no hiring. I'm lowering the resistance. I told you. Oh, the more, yes. This is a adjustable resistor. When when I'm I'm, I'm touching this here, uh, is zero. It's zero ohms. You understand? Okay. So going here, the resistance is higher. Yeah. So you lower the resistance. Yeah. Uh, the current goes up. Yeah. The voltage goes up. Okay. Let's do it more. No, I can't. I need a screwdriver. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you pay attention on the voltage. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Check it, that. Yeah, that's obvious. It's five. If um, it's five hundred milliamps. Yeah. And uh, five point one volt. Uh, okay. Volts. Yeah. Yeah. What is the power? The power... 5 or 0 0.5? 5, yes. 5 or 0 point... 5 or 0 0.5. It's... 2... 0.5 watts? Yes, 2.5. 2.5 watts, right? Yes. I believe, I don't know. Yes, 5, yeah. five or 0 0.5, it's 2.5, yes. Okay, let's lower the resistance more. Feel it. Yeah, try and feel it. It's still it's, warm, no hot. Yes, warm. It's, yeah, it's getting warm. Why? Because it's resisting the current. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the, the yeah. The, Basically, you are losing some current on this resistor. Yes. Yeah, and when you are losing, the things don't get lost. It's exchanging in heat. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Good. Now let's lower the resistance. Okay, so what's okay. the current and the voltage? Now it's seven um, seven hundred and forty milliamps, and the voltage it's nine point five. Well, let's say ten volts and uh, seven hundred milliamps. Yeah. What is the power? Um, ten volts and seven hundred milliamps. It's uh, seven watts. Seven watts, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so all I want to remember, what will happen with the with the with the current if we modify if we change in the resistance? If the resistors go high, uh, the currents go down. Good, the voltage go down as well. Okay, if the resistance comes low, the current goes up and the voltage goes up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now let's learn something else. I'm happy we clear this. Okay. Now let's go back to our schematic. Let's learn about the resistors. Okay. You can connect the resistor on the serial mode and the parallel mode. Okay. What will happen on the serial mode? You have 10 ohms and then you have another 10 ohms on the serial. Wait, they add it together? Huh? Serial. Yeah. It's one after the other. Yes. What will happen with the resistance? 
they they will keep more current. No, what will happen with the resistance value? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So check here. We have one resistor, right? Mm hmm Okay. Then we are adding one more resistor. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So let's say these 10 ohms. These 10 ohms. Mm hmm mm? Okay. So what is the value of the resistance on this circuit? Mm? This is a circuit. This, those are the connections. That's how they are represented. So what is the total value of this circuit? That's 20 ohms? Exactly. Because they're in a serial mode. Okay. I mean, it's kind of logical, right? Yeah. Okay. We clear that. All right. What about this circuit? Wait, that's in parallel. Exactly. Hmm. But well, wait a second. Resistors in the parallel mode. That's not the same. So each one has 10 ohms. Yeah, but that's not the same like uh, the other one. It's not. The other one was serial. This is yes. parallel. Wait, that will be 100? 100 ohms? Okay, you know what? I don't want to tell you. I want no. you to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so let's Good. assume. No, 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 no. Listen, let's assume here you add mo one more resistor. Let's assume that, yeah? Okay. I don't want to tell you the formula. It's, it's making no sense. You're not going to learn. All right. You add one more resistor. Yeah? Yes. So now you have two resistors. Okay. So the current, it will go from where? So I will have one circuit. It will go like that. And it will go like that. Okay? Yeah. So what will happen with the current if we are doubling the resistance, the resistor? So basically, what current I have on this one? I have like uh, 100 milliamps, let's say 100 milliamps, okay? I okay. will add a resistor so that this resistor can carry also 100 milliamps. All right. You understand? Yes. Okay. So basically, you double the current. If yeah. I double the current, what happens with the resistance? If you double the current... So I double the current does mean... What happened with this total resistance? What happened with this total resistance? So, uh, one it's 10, one it's 10? Yeah. No, just tell me what happened. You don't tell me the value. Just tell me what happened. Uh, we are not saying it's 10 ohms. We are not saying The resistance go, goes down. Down. Explain. Down. How do you explain that? Very simple. You just open the mount, and sound <laughs> comes out. I wish. Uh, but obviously, if you if you have um, low resistors, you have higher current. Right. So. So what will happen with the total resistance? E you have exactly this one here. You see, it's, it, I draw it here. Yes. It's exactly this one. Yeah. But I cannot figure out what happened there. What is happening? What is happening with the resistance? Yes. It... Okay. So the way how you see it, you see like okay, this has ten ohms. This has ten ohms. Yes. Right. Yeah. So uh, of course, if. If, if one resistor, it will carry 100 milliamps, the other resistor will, it will carry another 100 milliamps, yeah? Obviously. And uh, the output current will be 200 milliamps, right? But we know that's not right. And how do we know that? No. We know the current doesn't go up. It doesn't. Without resistance Just going go down. Down, yes. Yeah. So does mean the resistance of this circuit is? Oh, they they share each other then. They share what? The the ohms. They share the ohms. No. Okay. So one has ten ohms. The other one has ten ohms. What is the resistance? The the, the resistance of the total circuit. 
10? No? Okay, I want you to check. <laughs> no. no, 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 I want you to no, check. Uh, no, 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 I no, have no, 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 no idea. I know, I know, and I don't want you to explain. Okay. I want you to figure it out. That's the idea. Okay. That's the beauty. You don't think that's the beauty? So if you put them in the cereal, you add them. So that that's easy. So if you have two, ten, you... Yeah, what will happen with the current in that case? The current in that case? Yeah. It, it will go down. Okay. Because the resistance goes up. Goes up, yes. Yeah. Now I want you to check. Okay. Yeah? Yes. So here you have two resistors. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have two resistors, yeah? Yeah. Check one first and see what's the value of one resistor. 75 ohms, right? 75 ohms. Now connect them on the serial mode. On the serial? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. together? Yeah. Okay. One after the other, it's serial. It's yeah. not hard. Yeah. And now the total the total value will be 148. Okay, now put them on the parallel mode. Oh, what? How do? Should I do that? How? How you can do that? Like. Yeah, here, 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 here. We here. can't see. We can't see. Wait, wait, wait. I should put them like this. Why? I don't know. And like this, like like this, like this. Yeah, but what about, you know, yeah. just like that? What about like that? Uh, hmm? <laughs> it's not simple? It, it is simple, but... <laughs> Why you want to bend the pins? <laughs> huh? To... To, to, to be like in a picture. Yes, oh, okay, yes. <laughs> okay you're making sense. To be like in the picture, let them be like that. You think it will change anything it, if, if, if it will be like in the picture? <laughs> Look, it's like in the picture now. Okay. Okay. Now check check the to total value. All right. Oh, that's 37. But why is 37? So what happened? So one resistor has like 70 ohms, right? Was like 70 or... How much? 75 no, or? It was 70. Only. You see, it's not even only me, which I like forget. Yeah, I know it's 70. I know it's 70. It's 70 something. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, it does. <laughs> it was se 74. 75. Okay. Oh, 75. Okay. 75. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that means it's like half. So what is the total resistance on our case here? It's five. Exactly. But I told you it's five. And that's logical because if you double the current, that's when the resistance is half. Okay. You didn't set five. I didn't say five. No, you didn't set. No, okay. you didn't. So in the serial mode, they add up. Yeah. On the parallel mode, they uh, it will buy it will, it will have. Half, half of the value, yeah? Half of the value, yes. Yeah, I understand now. You understand? It's yes. good. If you understand then, tell me, mm. if you have two resistors, one, one kilo ohm and one 100 ohms, what will be the total value? On serial or on parallel? Parallel. So you are, you have what? Uh, a thousand ohms and 10 ohms. A thousand ohms? That's and 10 ohms. And I want to approximate, I don't want to calculate. What do you mean? You have about one calculator. Okay, calculate them. So you said a thousand? Yeah. A thousand and ten? Yes. A thousand and ten. That means uh, uh, 550. <laughs> How you calculate that? No, wait, wait, wait. A thousand and ten? That means 505, sorry. How you calculate that? I add them and then divide it by two. Easy. You add why you add them? Because it, those are in parallel. You don't add in the parallel. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Um so you said one thousand and ten. Yeah. Yeah? 
1,000, if you, half of 1,000 is 500, and the, um, the other half of 10, it's 5, right? It doesn't work like that. Oh, wait, wait a sec. It doesn't work. Then how it how it works? You approximate. So you have already ten ohms. Yeah, you have ten ohms. You have ten and you have ten ohms. Okay. So adding one resistor, that value can goes only lower. You understand? It cannot go higher than ten. So you add uh, one kilo ohm. So probably the resistor, the total resistance is about nine 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 point something ohms, or nine ohms around nine ohms. No wait wait you confusing me now. So you said yeah. you have a resistor with 1000 ohm yeah. and one with 10 ohm. Yeah. And now you said the total will be like nine. Yeah. Because we're speaking on, on the parallel, not on the serial where you add this plus this plus this, it does the total. Those are in the parallel mode. Yes, but in the parallel mode, why why you care about um, uh, only the the lowest one, the the ten ohms? What about the thousand? Okay, let's do it. Let me let me grab two resistors for you. Yeah. Okay, let's check. Let's see. So grab ten ohms. Um, ten ohms. This one. Yeah. Okay. Good. And a thousand ohms, which is how much? A thousand ohms is a thousand ohms. Yeah, how much is a thousand ohms? Uh, it's ten kilo ohms. No. No. It's one kilo ohm. You cut only three zeros. Oh, one kilo ohm. Okay, take one kilo. Ohm. And this one. Yeah. Okay. Now put them on the parallel mode. Here, here, here. We we want to see. Okay. Now the total resistance is. How is ten? Wait, Wait I, I why is ten point seven? One second, something is wrong there. Well, I don't think that's 10 ohm resistor. That's not 10 ohm. Uh, open them and check one more time. Check the 10 ohms resistor. I mean, they literally said it's 10. Nah, it's impossible. So that one probably is one kilo ohm. Yeah, because you can't test it. Check the other one. That's one Wh kilo ohm. Why, why because cannot... you have to change the scale on the multimeter. Oh. You see? You see what I told you? It's... 10.7. 10.7. Now put them on the parallel mode. So 10.7, yeah? Yeah. It's 10.7. Yeah. 10.6. Yeah. 10.6. That's what I told you. If it's just 10 ohms, it should be 9 point something. That's what I said. I don't get it. So all I want to understand is the way how the current is going, yeah? Okay. So the current, or the voltage, it doesn't matter the electricity, it will choose the shortest spot to go on the other side, you understand? Yeah. So the shortest on this case is 10 ohms. Okay. Yeah? Yes. So it's 10 ohms, obviously you add a resistor on the parallel mode, right? Yeah. That's mean more current, yeah? Yeah. More current means less resistance. Yes. Less resistance than, than the, the lowest resistor. And the lowest is 10 ohms. Okay. You understand? Mm, but what? Why, why not the, the thousand one? What it will matter? You have 10 ohms already there. So it's like the 10 ohms is shorting the 1001, you understand? Okay. Like how I told you that the, the electricity will choose the shortest path. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, let's say you add more resistors here, like even bigger value. Yeah, a few hundred kilohms. It doesn't matter. The lowest one is 10 ohms. Yes. And any added resistor, it will lower the 10 ohms value. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Of course, it's easy when the both are the same. Yeah, like 75 with 75 and we have half 35, right? So yeah. I don't know what, what you checked. It was 75, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But when the resistors are not equal, yeah? Okay. And that's how I want to learn it, because you are going to use this in the future, especially on the repairs, yeah? You have on the you have path and power to the power rails, yeah? Yes. Okay? Yeah. Now, one is shorted. Which one? Of course, the one which has the lowest resistance. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Or, on another way, how I'm checking, I'm coming with current, yeah? Mm -hmm. Current, and I said always, I'm coming with current, but actually I'm coming with current and voltage, which gives me output power, and that power is getting exchanged in heat. That's how I'm finding a short. You understand? Mm. And I'm always checking what is getting hot. Yeah. Why? Because my current, which I'm coming with the current, goes on the shortest path, which is the short one, which has zero ohms, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if I come with high current, what will happen? You will have a little... more power. Yeah. High current, more power, because the resistance is the same, right? Yes. More current, more power. More power means... Lower the resistor. Lower it, I understand, but yeah. more power. Power means more heat. More heat. And that's how you find a short, actually. Okay. You understand? Yeah. It's making sense? Making sense. To make something to get hot, yeah, you have to push more power. Obviously. Yeah? Yeah. Pushing more power means more current. You can't push more voltage because there it's it's a short. And the voltage it will be dragged down by the actually you don't have enough current. So in order to rise the voltage, you have to rise the current. All right. Like, check here. It's very simple. So what do I have to do? I don't have, I, that's all my current and the voltage is zero. So in order to push more power, yeah, I need some voltage, yeah, yeah. to add with the current, you know, the voltage time, uh, Voltage uh, uh, times current, yeah? Yes. Give me the total power. power, yeah? So in order to add more voltage, all I all that I can do is raise the current. And the moment I raise the current, check on the voltage. Start at 0 0.34, you see? Yeah. So you understand? So right now I'm pushing some, I can actually calculate. So I have like 2.8 amps times 0 0.2 volts. And actually I have some power. Now that power is not getting lost, it's getting exchanged in heat. Yes. Okay, so right now the probes are getting warm. Okay. I understand. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yep. Good. Now let's do another test. Yeah, so we have 10 ohms and we have 75 ohms. No, actually, left them together and add, uh, add that that uh, group, which is 35 ohms. 34. Okay, so what do, you, what do you think it will be the total value? Wait a second, that's 10, that's 10 right? Yeah. And that's 34. Yeah. I want to estimate. Estimate? Yeah. It will be... Like five? No, that's half. That's meaning when you have 10 ohms and you add another 10 ohms, that will be half. That will be five, ohm, five ohms. Okay. Yeah? But that's 34. Yes. That's 10. Yes. That means it will be 20. I just told you, you take the lower value, which is 10 ohms. Yes. And from there, it goes down. You can't have more resistance if you put the resistance in a parallel mode. You understand? 
That's not how, how the resistors work. So what's happened if if you put those on? Do, you try much, it. How much you have now? Probably how much it will be. Yes. Probably around seven ohms. It's just a well good guess. But let's see if I'm right. Is this one? No, that's the power supply. It's actually nine. No, nine. I'm, I'm a, you Eight. know. Okay. Yeah, but you know, I, it's an estimate. But how you estimate uh, how much it goes down? You estimate. You have 10 ohms and you add how much? 34. Hmm. So I know another 10 ohms, so it will be five. Yeah? If I add another 10. Yes. Right? It will be five, yes. I don't have another 10. I have another 35. So it must be somewhere in the middle, probably some, somewhere around seven, right? Okay. It's making sense now? It's making sense, but I don't know why, why it's like... Uh, um... Why it's like what? For example, so you you are thirty four. Yeah. Cannot be higher than ten. That's very simple. The the the, the, the lowest one is ten ohms. Cannot be higher. You add a resistor. The resistance going is going down. You add in parallel mode. You understand? Yeah. yeah but yeah. how how you know how much is going down? I just told you. If you have ten ohms. It will be five. The total resistance will be five ohms, right? It will have another. If you have another ten ohms, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The the total resistance will be five ohms. Yes. Yeah. We don't have another ten. We have thirty-seven. So it will not 34. be thirty-four. So we don't. It will not be five ohms. It will be probably around seven, eight. Okay. But what, for example, if we add like. 75. Oh, only one. If yeah. You, if we add only, only one. So you will have probably yeah. nine ohms. Oh, okay. Makes sense. No, really, you have to understand this because otherwise we cannot move forward. But I have a question now. Yeah. What if we have those two, right? Yeah. Which is uh, 34. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 34. And we add. Yeah. This one, which is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I need to figure out which one is this one. So it, no, that's the a thousand. One second. Yeah. One kilo. One kilo. So what it will be the total the total value? Uh, so wait. If we add one kilo ohm yeah. on this thirty four. Yeah. So so it will be. So you take the lowest, which is thirty four. Yes. One kilo, probably around 32 ohms. But that's, oh, okay. But that means that's the lowest, 30, 32. Hmm? No? Which is the lowest resistance you added there? No, that's 70, no. Those two, they have how much? The 75, 75. So how, how you check them. What yes. was the value? 34, I'll add them together. 34, so you add one more kilo ohm, yeah? Yes. So that means it should be around 32. Check. Why you don't check? Uh, one second. It's 37, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. It's 36. That means 
hasn't been 34 in the beginning. It, what do you mean? It was. Yeah, take, that, take that out and let's check one more time. It was because it was 75, 75. And those. No, two... check, check one more time. Check one more time. Now it's 37. So it's 37. And with that one, how much it is? Uh, it was this one? I think it was. I don't know which one. Because they're. Yeah, it was this one. Mm. Uh, with this one is 36. 36. Yeah. Okay. So that that's the um one kilo ohm, right? Yeah. What if I add only 10 ohms? It will be the same 36? No. You have less than 10. Oh shit. Oh, wait. So if I add 10, yeah. that was a thousand. If I add 10, yeah. it will be... We checked already. It was nine. like 8 ohms or 9 ohms, something like that. 9. I think I get it. I think I get it. So on the parallel, yeah. you will take the the lowest but only if are not equal you understand because if they are equal when the repair should don't have equal resistance it's always different okay if it's equal yeah 10 ohms 10 ohms total resistance 5 ohms what what if you put 3 10 ohms so that means it will be 3.3 ohms What if you put four? It will be 2.5. 2.5? Two yeah. Okay. Makes sense. But what I want to understand is what happened with the current. That's, that's the thing. So you will have two currents here, right? Mm -hmm. Here and here. Okay? Yeah. So let's say I1 and this one I2. Yeah? Yeah. What will happen with the current? The total current, I total, it will be I1, yeah, plus I2. You understand? Yeah. If you have more resistance, same thing it will happen. So you have more resistance on parallel, the current is going up. So you see that the current adds up. Yeah. You can understand that? Yes. Yeah. On, on the repairs, we are playing a lot. We are playing this trick with the, with the, this dance, current, resistance, voltage. It's a dance. They dance, you know, one is going up, the other one goes down and things like that. You will see, we're going we're gonna to reach a point where actually the, the voltage is going up, the current is going down. Yeah. But you said they are going together. I know, together. I know, but when you have a power supply, yeah? Okay. On a power supply, that's what happened. A switch by any power supply, you rise the voltage, the current is going down. You're gonna see, but I'm just trying to make the point now. It's All a right. dance. That's why as soon as you understand those things, it will be very easy. That's complicated. What can be complicated? <laughs> we are not resistors. We didn't wait, have even speak wait, about capacitors, when, when transistors. You, wait, wait. When you don't know, yeah. things are complicated. Trust me. It's very easy when you know. Yeah, but I just told you a thousand times how those works. You want formula, I can I can we can speak formula, but that that's no help. No. Right. It's no help. You don't have time to <laughs> oh, let me take out the formula because I have a laptop to repair. You can't do it. I can't have my calculator on me. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain. I, I, I want from you to understand, not to learn. If you design a circuit, yeah, okay, I'm designing, calculate everything, you know, just for a precise result. Okay. 
So it's clear? A bit, yes. So w w what is the confusion? No, it, everything is clear. It just... I am, I understand now. With parallel... Um, and everything, yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay, what happened with the resistance if you use them on the serial mode? Uh, what do you mean what happened with the resistance? You, you said you add them together. Okay, what about the serial mode? Yes. I, I mean, if you have those two which are uh, 75, yeah. right? You will have 150. Okay, so what will happen with the current? Uh, the wait, the resistor goes up, the current goes down. Okay, only the current is going down. No, the voltage is down is going down as well. Yeah. Yeah. You sure? That's what you said. Can we check? Yes. Okay, let's check. How? Hmm. How? So you add them like this? Yeah. Right? Yes. Right. And? So this is the power supply, right? Okay. You can connect just one. It's okay, just one. Connect just one. And check the voltage. You have here the multimeter. What about this? No, I should connect there? No. You said you want to check the voltage, yeah, before and after the after the resistor. Yeah. Uh, I check the voltage. So what is the voltage? Twelve. Yeah. Yes. And on the other side of the resistor. On here. Yeah. It's twelve. Yeah. Why is tough? Because here is like... Oh boy. So we are going back to the first video. What you have there, it's an open circuit. The current is not flowing. You understand? Okay. And if the current is not flowing, yeah? The resistance, it will not limit the voltage. We spoke about this. Okay. You understand? No. You don't have a circuit. You don't, the, your, your current is not flowing. Your electricity is not flowing on your circuit. It's not close. It's an open circuit. Okay. You understand? Yes. <laughs> that means this is not a circuit, then there is only the resistors. Yeah, you have two resistors connected to. Yes. In order to make them work, you have to close the circuit. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so you need to connect something on... Yeah, like, let's say connect what? What do you want to connect? Another resistor? You have to connect another resistor in okay. order to close the circuit. And then the rules can apply. You understand? But why? Why you have to connect another circuit? You have to close the circuit to ground. Okay. Because you have no current flow. So if I take this light bulb out, and you have just resistor, yeah? And you have just resistor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
The circuit is not closed. So you don't have a current flow on the circuit. All right. You understand? Yeah. So the current cannot escape from here. It will get stopped here because your circuit is not closed. In order to True. close the circuit, you have to add a resistance, right? Your load. A load, yeah? Mm. Or a light bulb or another resistor. You have to close the circuit. And when you close the circuit, then you will have... Well, we have two... Uh, then you will have a current movement. But we have two two of them because they are in um, serial. Yeah. So? And um, in this um, and this one. Yeah. This one you cannot say it um, in serial as well, mm? or it's in parallel. Those are in the serial. You can see yes. them are in the serial mode. Yes. So what will happen on this circuit? Yeah. What voltage I will have here? So here I will have zero because here is ground, right? This one is ground. Here is zero. Yeah. Here is minus ground. Yeah. yeah. Zero volts. Yeah. Okay. Here we have twelve, right? Twelve volts. Yeah. What voltage we're we gonna have here? Let's say we are taking. You have zero there. Yeah, what voltage it will be from here to here? Zero. Uh, what do you mean? What voltage I will have here? Oh, wait. You put 12 volts there. Let's assume we have two resistors. Yeah, but equal resistors. Yeah? Okay. Okay? So what resistor do you want? 100 ohms, right? Yeah. 100 ohms. And here 100 ohms. What will be the voltage on this point? Oh boy, where is the formula? Formula, formula, uh, wait. The... Um, it will be... Wait a second. If it, will are, be, it, it, it will be 12 divided by 100. So it will be... What? You have two resistors, right? In the serial mode. Yeah. What will be the, the voltage here? If those two resistors are the same. Logical speaking, yeah? So the current, it's, it's the same. The resistance is the same. What will be the voltage here? Uh. You want to try? Let's try. Let's test it. Let's lower the voltage to 2 volts, right? Okay, and here we have two resistors, the 70 ohms uh, each, right? Yes. Okay, so on the parallel, uh, on the serial mode with the, with the 12 volts, okay? So you will have to check the voltage. You will have to check the voltage. What did I ask? From ground, you only check the voltage from ground, yeah? From ground on this point, from the middle. So what is the voltage there? Zero. How can it be zero? If here at the input I have 12, 2 volts. Let me raise the voltage. So 3 volts. So I have 3 volts at the input. What it will be the voltage on the middle? Hmm? Why you don't check? You have the multimeter. Check. Ground. And you said... Uh, check here on the yeah. input. Yeah. 3 volts. 
And on the middle? Like here? Yeah. 1.5. Now you understand? You have exactly the same resistors. Obviously, always, doesn't matter what input voltage you have, the voltage from the middle, it will be half. Half. Exactly. I mean, you have the same resistors. Same resistors on the, on the serial mode. Okay. Huh? What is not clear? I don't understand. I don't know. That's not too much complicated. How can it be complicated when you have two resistors on the serial mode? Okay, let me let me draw it on a different way. Let me do it on a different way. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's easy for you. Now it's better. Now it's making sense better. But you did the same thing. Yeah, but <laughs> I tried to make it easier for you. If those registers are the same. Yeah. They are the same. But what if they are not the same? Yeah, that it will be next. <laughs> if they are not the same. But right now are the same. Okay. All right, so one it one is carrying half, and the other one is carrying the other half. No, it doesn't work like that. No, the power on this circuit. How is how is uh, the power is going? So it's going like that, right? Yeah. And also, if you have here a light bulb, can go also like that. You understand? Okay. But that's not important. Important is to understand the output voltage. You forgot the basics. What a resistor is limiting? It's limiting the current. If it's limiting the current, what will happen with the voltage? If the current is getting dropped, what will happen with the voltage? The voltage is dropping. Getting okay, dropped. so clearly here we should have less voltage than the input. Yes. So let's say 12 volts. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Well, how, how much less? Uh, depends what the resistors. Okay, but if they are equal. Yeah. They are equal. Half and half. Yeah, so here I will have six volts. Six, yes. Yeah. Because they are equal, the resistors are equal. Yes. I, now I understand. But now you understand? Yes. But we made a test. Yeah, we have 3 volts and there in the middle we have 1.5. Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Now it's a question. A question, yeah? Yeah. So you... You pay attention, right? Yeah, that's the test. If I failed... Yeah, if you fail... You repeat here. <laughs> so what do we have here? This is called divider, by the way. That's how it's called, divider. Oh. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But, good. It's okay? Yes. Everything is clear? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, if you have the same resistors, you have half voltage. Yeah. Now, what about, if the, what about if the resistors are not the same? Uh, 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 uh. Obviously, <laughs> the divider using different resistors, you'll have different uh, output voltage. Yeah, so it will be not half. No. Depends. Well, you know what? I prefer you know to speak about this on the next uh, on the next video. Depends on the first one or depends on the second depends one? Depends on both. This is a divider. Okay. So both resistors, they have... Uh, they are important. All right. I mean, just think, if I broke this resistor down, what will happen with the voltage here? Uh, 
in this mm. circuit, if you are checking with a multimeter here, yeah, what voltage I will have if I broke this resistor? You'll have 24. Hmm? You'll have 24. Exactly. Because exactly. it's, not, it's not a divider anymore there. Exactly. It's an open circuit. It's not closed by anything here. Yeah. Yeah? Exactly. So that's the reason why adding a resistor here, the same value, it will give you half of the voltage here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's stop now. Uh, it starts being complicated, but, you know, it's no rush. And uh, I'm trying to avoid bringing a formula and using the calculator to calculate things. It's not really helpful. I want you to understand what's going on. Yeah, but then I, I don't know. I think with the practice, you understand what's going on. I mean, measure everything. Measuring? Yes. Okay. I will keep in mind. Yeah? Okay, yeah. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.